is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Eric Go, otherwise known as Oh No It's Eric Go, and today we have a video that's a little bit different for you guys, where we answer one of the internet's unanswered questions. Actually, I don't really think it's an unanswered question, however, I have this question and I couldn't find the answer to it on Google, so I decided to make a video on it. So today we are going to be talking about my beloved Ken Ken bag. And I'm sure some of you guys watching, or probably many of you guys watching, also have one of these Ken Ken bags. For me, I've taken this all around Asia and I've had it for almost two years now. It's been on over 30 planes and it's been through hot, wet, uh, gross parts of Asia, back in New York and in Boston, uh, back from where I'm from. And I think because of this current lockdown that we have, it's time to give it a clean, it's time to empty it out, see what's inside, see what we don't need, and see if we can get rid of some of the grossness that's been associated with this bag. So before I start, I wanna mention that I did a quick Google search on this and there wasn't very clear information other than Fjall Robin saying that you should not put this in the washing machine. They don't really say why, they just say that um, something is gonna happen with the dye or the color that's gonna run. To be honest with you, this has been black for almost two years now and uh, it hasn't really faded to a dark gray. So I'm okay with it fading a little bit and plus I think I've gotten um, most of my monies out of this bag so I'm willing to take the risk. Being the lazy person that I am and also uh, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna put this in the washing machine to see if what Fjall Revan says is actually true. Now, you guys might think that it's not too dirty. Um, however, like I said, it's been on the floor of many planes before, and as we know, planes are gross. Um, and as you can see, it's been on cement, so there's a little bit of, I don't know what that is. These straps are white and, uh, ugh, gross, I think that's sweat. So these are, are definitely dirty, and it just doesn't seem dirty because it's black, uh, but I guarantee you there's dirt there. Now, I did read on the interwebs that if you were to machine wash this bag, the wax coating or the waterproof coating that they have on the bag would actually go away. So I'm actually curious to see if my waterproof coating is still actually on the bag. So I'm just going to do a quick water test and see if there's actually still any waterproofing on it. Bear with me while we do this. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw that. I just put some water on top of the bag. Uh, and it looks like, it looks like it's absorbing the water. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, let me do that again. Maybe this time on this part. So it'll whisk away a little bit of the water, but it'll still get absorbed. And now all this water is on my floor. So obviously, there is some waterproofing. But I don't know, maybe some of mine has already rubbed off, rubbed away. And I haven't purchased the Fjall Robin wax that some people have recommended to reapply once it's done. Honestly, I just want this bag to be clean and to get rid of some of these gross stains that I showed you guys before. So the first step, obviously, is to get rid of all the stuff in your bag. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. I'm actually going to put some shout on some of the tougher stains that I see. So for example, on this strap right over here and also over here on the front of the bag. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and try putting this in an old pillowcase of mine and then washing it on the cold gentle cycle with wool light. Now the actual directions for washing this bag from, from Fjall Robin say that you should just brush it with a gentle brush and some warm water and basically hand wash it. We don't have time for that. So I put some shout over there on the bottom like I mentioned. There's also some grossness over here. And I'm actually gonna throw this into the pillowcase just the right way up, or rather not inside out. I know some guys would probably wanna turn this inside out, but I'm just gonna go ahead and send it. So I'm gonna spray more of this shout onto the troublesome areas, let it sit for a little bit, and then we're gonna throw it in the washing machine. 
So I actually sprayed Shout in a bunch of areas and I just want to get an up close shot of the bag before we actually go ahead and throw it in the pillowcase. All right, so we have been letting our Ken Ken bag sit for about an hour. Time to put some of this wool light in. Let's measure this out. I'm going to put about that much. All right, let's get the settings right. Gentle care. Yeah, I guess 30 degrees Celsius is fine. Uh, we'll put the spin on 800. Extra rinse just for a good measure. All right, so let's have a quick look at what it looks like after the wash. Oh, hmm. Oh, that stuff that seems to have dried on. Oh, that's probably like gum or something that I threw the bag on. All right, well, it looks like there's still some of this scarring or some of that staining. The straps look better. So I'm actually going to let this hang dry for a little bit, actually overnight, and then we'll report back tomorrow to see how it looks. All right, we are back and it's a new day. I let this hang dry overnight. Um, just cracked open the window and then left it near the window and here is the finished product So the only thing that I actually did after letting it air dry was I took a lint roller to it Just to get some of the lint from the pillowcase off, but otherwise Just zoom into that. Here is the finished product. Of course um, Some of the other stains that you see here like this white stuff I think this kind of got uh, ruined from the cement but for the most part, it's definitely a lot cleaner than when we started before we washed it. Um, the grossness from the backpack strap is gone. And honestly, looking or, you know, kind of feeling the consistency or kind of the texture of the fabric, it doesn't seem like it got any smoother or any more rough than it already was. So I don't think that the fabric was kind of ruined or I don't think any of the finish was ruined. However, let's go ahead and do that water test once again. Just like last night when I did the water test, I just want to show you guys. So it's actually the same. If you have a look, it still repels the water and of course it still gets kind of wet. So I think some of that wax that Fjall Robin puts onto the bag is still there. And yeah, I'm not gonna spend the money to re-wax this. I'm just happy that now it's a little cleaner, ready for more travel when all of the travel bans around the world are lifted. All right, so that does it. And I hope that answers your question on whether or not you can wash your Fjall Robin Ken Ken bag in the washing machine. So after doing it once, I wouldn't hesitate to do it once again, once it gets dirty. And again, Nothing wrong happened. The bag didn't explode or rip or or do any of the things that Fjall Robin said that it would. Um, the color is still black. If anything, I think it got a little more black because of the, the the dirt that washed away. Again, just to give you guys a heads up, cold gentle cycle. Uh, I didn't put any kind of fabric softener and I used wool light detergent. All right, so that does it for this video, and I hope that answered some of your questions. Again, if you have a question that hasn't been answered, please feel free to post a comment below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you guys like what you see and you wanna see more cameos of this bag and some of my adventures, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at oh no, it's Eric Go, And feel free to check out my blog where I write about some of my adventures, gowithericgo.com. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.